Consent agenda, approval of the agenda, approval of the minutes, approval of the bills. We have more bills to match, right? Okay, so do I have a motion to? We have a motion to approve the agenda, minutes, <coughs> bills. Okay. Second. Do I have any discussion on that? All in favor? Aye. Any questions for me? Do I have a motion to accept the treasurer's report? A motion to accept the treasurer's report. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Treasurer's report is accepted. Council comments. Allie, anything? No. Bob? No, you're not. No. Dan? Lana? Not at this time. Connie? Yes. Um, I brought this up a couple of times, the speed limit signs. If we're not going to use them, why don't sell them to like our house down or donate the money to the pool? Or? So we have two trailers. We have one electronic sign. We don't know where the other one is at. We're trying to track it down right now. Then could we sell it? Could we sell them now with the money? I think so. We've in discussions with people just in general out there, a lot of people would like to see, and Dan's brought this up before too, like to see the type of sign they have in West Bend. Oh, these aren't the They're similar, but they're on a trailer. Those are on post. You work with the state to get the permission to put them in. Um, they're a little bit pricier, but eventually we'd like to see about putting those in instead. Not what is happening in the other one? We don't know. We don't know. Um, we suspect that when the trailers were being built, that Tom has one, had one, and his son had custody of it. So we're trying to track that down to see if that's the case. We don't have, we can't find it in any of our buildings. And I checked with Corey, and he only had the one sign for the, for the trailer. So. I did have a comment on that. Okay. And one more. Remember that guy that wanted to put stuff on the tower? Satellites or something? He never got back with us. He never did want to use our rodeo, huh? No. He didn't respond back at all. Yeah. We, told him, we told him to, to talk to the homeowners and see if he can put it up. It's only a 10 foot by 10 foot um, footprint. And he just faded off into the woods. What's that for no, it was a phone of cellular service. Yeah. Um, just to comment, I have different people that say they want a receipt from their paying their bills, the city bills. People are aware that this tears off, correct? Sometimes they don't because they'll, they'll give us this, the whole thing, like if they put it in the Dropbox. Yeah. Just so people, people are aware yeah, I that know. you want a receipt? That's not the receipt. That's not the receipt. Them. That's the part we keep. That well, are, yeah. Either way. Yeah. But I think they want one stamp. Yeah. That says pay. Well, and how many of us own a cell phone? You know, this box out here is secure. Mm -hmm. You know, you take a picture of it. That's going to show the date the picture was taken. So even if there's not someone here to physically stamp it for you, that's your backup, guys. So it's not. If they bring it in, we stamp it. If they want one, then we make one out from the receipt book. I just think they're tiny. I think it's when there's right. somebody that's not here yeah, to do know. that. There is a way to <coughs> correct. 
But some people don't think that I've had people say to me when I've worked, yeah, but I don't want to put anything in that drop box. It's all there. I mean, nothing gets taken out of there. That's what it's for. Anyway, that was my thought. There's not a camera. I thought that we had one over there that was through now. Well, it was a series of parties that got a 361, but I don't think it's worth it. Uh, well, it I wouldn't get that. That would not get it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, nothing else? Not, okay, clerk's comments. I'm good. All right, mayor's comments. Got a few things. Um, everybody knows Stella's is gone now, that's building. And I submitted the final report to the DNR, so hopefully. When it's all said and done, we will get, I'm guess, guesstimating somewhere around $12,000 back, reimbursed. And we'll see. We won't get the full amount. The bill was a little bit less than, than um, estimated. It came out to be about $18,400, $500, something in that neighborhood. And he, he had uh, estimated it at 19006 I think it was. So it came out a little bit less. Um, last time was brought up by somebody in, in here about ordinances. Um, they had made the comment that comment that no new ordinances have been written, and member said no, that's not true. Uh, the fact is there are no new ordinances. We have updated ordinances, but we have not written any new ordinances. So just that's for clarification. Um, water tower light was out. I asked Kevin Kearns to go ahead and uh, change the bulbs on that. I didn't get an um, answer back yet on if that fixed the problem. I guess we'll look and see if the lights come on tonight. And, um, he's a brave soul. I wouldn't have climbed up there to change those. Um, the Nuisance abatement person, um, I'm still waiting on a call from him. So I have called over to economic development and asked them to get him to call me, and he has not done that yet. So if we don't hear something pretty soon, I guess I'll go back to the way it was before and I'll start writing letters. Where's this guy live? Mm -hmm. I think around the Mobile area. Yeah, I think Correctionville, Mobile area. Sioux City, but I, I haven't gotten any feedback. I was hoping to have that this weekend, but I didn't get it. So, um, let's see, trees. We had uh, met with a guy named Scott Camp. He's a project manager for a company that works with the state DOT on the highway um, reconstructions and uh, sidewalks and stuff like that. And we have talked to him about the possibility of getting the state to pick up the tab on taking out the trees along um, Garfield Street. There's a lot of them that are dead or dying. It doesn't make any sense to take them down after they do the road and the sidewalks. It'd be smarter to take them out beforehand. So he is going to do his level best to put some influence in with the state to see if they can go ahead and incorporate that into the contract. <coughs> that happens. There's about 34 trees that need to come out just along that, that stretch of road. Um, the last thing is uh, the sirens. We had a heck of a time. Uh, the, the company that normally manages and, and checks our sirens um, has not, I've, we've talked to them numerous times to get them to come up here. They say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Never shown, so finally I got a hold of Kevin Kearns and he troubleshot the sirens. Um, we've ordered each siren has four batteries and four um, charging relays, and all the batteries were either dead or almost dead. Uh, so that's eight <coughs> total, and out of the eight charging relays, six of them were bad. So he is um, researching to find out if we can get. Uh, relays, um, we can get something to replace them, whether or not it's a, it will be a form fit function is not clear. It will probably just be function 
and form, but it may be different, so we may have to modify the inside of the cases to accommodate that. So you're looking into that. Um, once that's done, then hopefully the communications part of it still works. I know he shorted out the motor to see if it would turn, and the, and the siren motors turn, so we just feel that it was just a backup <coughs> and a relay problem. So um, the, re the batteries, once we turn the old <coughs> ones and put the new ones in, that'll be about 950 bucks for those eight batteries, and then whatever Kevin's bill is, and, the other replacement parts that we need. So hopefully we'll get this stuff back in order. Um, I think that's it. All right, utility reports. Tony, got anything? No. Perry, you got anything? No. Okay. Citizens' comments. We have one D. Senegard. Yeah, I'm actually going to be here for Pocahontas County Economic. I'm your alternate representative on that board. Jess Feigenfeldmeyer is your actual representative and she's chairman of that committee. She took over that for her. I'm actually take, I took over and <coughs> me as your alternate. Just thought I, since I come to the meetings every once in a while, I could do a little bit of an update. Um, I know I was just reading through our minutes from the last meeting and we talked about that nuisance abatement person again. Um, and we have a meeting this Thursday, so I'll mention that again at our meeting with Mary Jo. Um, I guess the guy was getting, starting to get busy was one of the things, he was getting filled up. Um, yeah, because Fonda, I think, had already committed to him. No, yeah, and Lorenz and us really wanted him. So I'm going to check with Mary Jo again on that aspect of that. Thank you. Um, I don't know if you saw a few weeks ago, and I don't know how many of you in here have heard about the kaleidoscope project. The temporary um, <coughs> in Pocahontas applied for a grant and the Pocahontas County Economic Development's Visioning Committee is doing some matching funds. Machine Shop <coughs> is building four kaleidoscopes for four communities, Pocahontas, Fonda, Lorenz, and Wall. They're going to be about five feet is what we were told at the last meeting. And they're going to be painted in the old school color. So the one that will be here will be the red and gold. And will be placed at Strike Park. And they hope to have that. They hope to have all those ready around June 1st. Now, that'll be, we'll wait and see if that happens and all that. But they're hoping that the communities can use that to, you know, do some advertising to bring people into town. They're hoping that if this is successful and there's enough money left over, they'll put them in the other towns that are in the county. It'll be one of those things people can go from place to place with their kids. So when I look at Strike Park, you know, we need to look at, you know, making sure we keep that up and, and making sure that people find that appealing to come to. Um, the housing, the heart of Iowa, we're, we're kind of, I think, a part of that, aren't we, Andrew? The heart of, yes. heart of Iowa, Iowa. There are five applicants within the county right now for that to get, like, furnaces replaced or wells or bathrooms and things like that. So that is something that's ongoing that they're trying to do to help with housing in the um, in the county. We're also looking at another group that encourages people to move to small areas like us. Um, people that work from home, as we all know, there are several of those people here in our community that work from home. It's cheaper to live here. Cost of living is less. And so we're looking at a group that we would sign up with that they would do advertising for us to get people to move into town, which then means we need to get housing and things like that available for those people. But we're still working on those types of things, so it's kind of an ongoing project all the time to try to get people to come into town. But we do have a meeting on Thursday. I don't know if there's anything else that you want me to check on for us. I know that both of us have checked and asked Mary Jo about the Dollar General. We're still on the list. Fonda and us are still on the list, but it still hasn't been done. Nothing has been acted upon at this point in time. But I just want you to know that if you come up with anything, make sure you let me know. The other thing is, this is our booklet for Pocahontas County Economic, and we're in the process of updating our booklet here also. Thank you, Dee. Thank you, Dee.
Die down there. No, it's a uh, very complicated. A long story. Yeah. Okay. It's a. Uh, yeah. It's a long, long story. <clears throat> All right. So, as I told you, Joe, you know, just waiting on this guy to get a hold of us. If he doesn't get a hold of us pretty soon. I'll just go ahead and get the picture of stuff blowing in my yard. What's that? <laughs> I said get the tire stuff blowing in my yard on the, the garbage. <laughs> All right. Yes, yeah, we come in spring here, and I think it's time for people to evaluate the cleanliness of their properties and get some of their junk. Moved. And also, we got to start planning for uh, spring cleanup. <coughs> Food for thought there. All right. Unfinished business, 202 Grant Street. Had uh, Al Schroep as our building inspector. He went down and took a look at it, walked through it, and took some pictures. And his estimation is get rid of it. It's not worth saving. It's uh, Part of the foundation has fallen out, so there's a big gaping hole in the back of it, and who knows what kind of critters are living in there now. Uh, windows are knocked out of it, so I'm sure it's full of bats and birds and whatever else. Just so that uh, I know we, we wanted to wait for Al's uh, approval on that. We did get a bid on taking it down, so. El Brandboy, six thousand to take the house down and the shed, seven thousand to take all the concrete out to the foundation. So, what I'd like to do is get a motion to remove it. Removing it. Remove that house. And which you want? Which way do you want to go? The easy way or the hard way? Hard way. Okay. So, got a motion to pay to take everything out. Uh, do I have a second? Sure. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Approved. Abandoned and empty houses. Um, we've got a number, a number of houses that are just sitting there rotting. The owners either don't care or just have no desire to clean them up, um, can't afford it, whatever. Um, when the lady who bought the old nursing home was looking for homes at one time and gave her a lot of information on empty or on some of the empty homes and I don't know that she ever followed through on any of them. Um, if the buildings have been abandoned for six months, the city has the uh, ability to go to court and take those houses from the or that property from the owners. Um, the question is, how many do we, there's, there's a number of them, so do we, we want to pick the worst ones and do one at a time, or, it's, it's, what's that? Is there 20? Uh, no, not that many, there's probably, I don't know, four That's or five. Oh, only four or five? It's four or five right now, and some others that we have to evaluate. Well, I just soon see them down is to see these people move into trash and like down the rainmakers. So, one of the things that would, we need to do is um, take them property by property and have Al look at them and give us his assessment on them and see if they're saveable. I know the one down at the end of Grant Street yeah. is shot. It's got a big hole in the roof. Where's the Remember Patty? 
one of those things we would have to get with the owner to see if we can go through it, take a look, see if it's worth anything. I have no idea. The last time I heard she was paralyzed. Oh, my. Is that correct? Yeah. What? <clears throat> All right. So anyway, there's, until we come up with a firm list, there's nothing more to do on that. So new business. Uh, sheriff's report. Everything going smooth. Um, we did have a case just recently that's I do not. Kevin. We don't get an inspection before we open it. Right. I know. I, I, and I remember that from the last meeting, but I want to see if we can get in to see what needs fixed, like before the water can go in it, if that makes sense. Because yeah. you had mentioned maybe like if there were cracks that needed patched or something, that's obviously something that needs to be taken care of before they go through the house and fill in with water. That makes sense. So I didn't know if you had a name to we were going to contact him. Yeah. I don't. Okay. Know I can look it up on paperwork, but all I have to do is call them in the county. They, they're in control of it. They do? Okay. Well, you're right there. So I, I could just yeah, go down. Yeah. Okay. okay, I can call them too. Okay, and then they did the parks and we did the parks and bike meeting, and we wanted to get the listings out for lifeguards. Like, now. They're, already, they're, already, they're already posted. Perfect. And then, is that it? What else did we have for this? Okay. I was dealing with that. The engineer we talked about in Parks and Rec. And the content of that, and then the fundraiser. Until next month. Yeah. Hopefully, we do have, I called um, an Iowa Park and Rec type person today, and they are actually in meetings right now, so she's going to relay my info on to. Um, a gentleman that Shannon Peters should recommend. So hopefully by next month, we should have numbers and more info for sure. So progress. Yeah. Any questions? How much you raised? A little over 1600 Good. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. very good. I was surprised these tables were full. We had all four of them. Good support from the community. So. The area dentists are going to be very, very happy. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> yeah, thank you. All right, next <coughs> up is Joe Raymaker. Do I have to stay in two? Huh? Do I have to stay in two? Yeah. yeah. I have to make a lot of friends. You have to go. Oh, I'm going to start out soon. So he, would, he would like to purchase um, a portion of uh, Cedar. Cedar Street, the last 66 foot of grass. 66, I will see. And then the city doesn't have to worry about grappling that every time I call up. 
Yeah, so is that where you're putting the fence? No, but it'll go to a certain point to stop people from driving in and out and tearing shit up. Yeah. It just so like this thing. Tear it with two lines. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 the, reason I, the reason I turned around was I was down looking at it. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I did go to the where the concrete starts and off to the east. So, just want to know if you'd consider uh, selling that like the last piece of rock. So, yeah. Bill, do I have a motion to we'll go forward with the sale of uh, uh, 66 yeah. feet? That's the same motion as go forward with it. I have one second. <laughs> Thank you. All right. That it? I believe now we have to. Yeah, it just has to be talked about. It does, it's just a motion because we got to do all this paperwork and my public hearing and all that stuff. We'll take care of the paperwork and then we'll get a hold of you, your new address, and let you know. Oh, I'll be here for a while. Okay, you know, I know. I. 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 All in favor? Yeah. All right. All right. Carried. All right. Sidewalk removal from Bob Durden. Tony's going to speak on Bob's half, behalf. He just wants to remove like four chunks of the sidewalk to go through his, his driveway. And it's so steep that he, he scrapes the bottom out of his vehicle all the time. So he just removed chunks and uh, put rock in there and kind of level it all out and make it less steep. There's no utilities in the area or anything like that, so. <clears throat> so you guys, they just take care of it? He, he, he would do it, he just needs approval from you guys to do so. To remove the sidewalk. I uh, make a motion that we let the, let him take that chunk out. Do I have a second? And repair it. Yeah, you know, we're yeah, going to put some some rock, rock in there and uh, we'll get the, the dig permit and the uh, 811 and all that good stuff. So it'll be done right. Okay. I have a motion to we go out the time. We've got a second. Second. All in favor? Right. All right. <coughs> you want to you wanna contact him, Tony? What's that? You want to tell him? I'll tell him. Okay. All right, energy, next up is energy rebate for the furnaces that were put into the Lutheran Church. <coughs> they put four furnaces in, so it's four times the... Okay. <coughs> well, the question is, do you want to approve one is typical, or do we want to go with all four? I say you have to go with all four. If they purchase all, they pay for each one. All right. So That's I just me. Is that your motion? I motion, yes. Okay, do I have a second? I do it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, approved. School gym. Um, Al Brandboy. <coughs> got a hold of me about a little less than a week ago and proposed to take down the school gym, take it out completely for $10,000. And I thought that was a pretty good deal. So um, anyway, I told him, I said, I can't approve it. The council has to approve it. But <coughs> I explained basically the deal is I take it out, I take everything out, but everything in the building is mine. Nobody goes in there and starts hauling. <coughs> so um, there were there was some private materials in there, and that person was talked to, and they got their stuff out of there. And so, and Brando is well aware of that. So, uh, anyways, we aren't going to get another deal like this. Is that a firm ten thousand? Yes, firm ten thousand. Um, I made a motion that we uh, have him get on this right away. Nice. Is he there? Where was that? 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 Where was
Like what do you say to the city? Is it ready for the city's concern? Not really. Well, the shop, the shop will not be gone. The guy's shop will be gone. The steel building back there won't be gone. Yeah. He's going to take it out. He's going to bury it out there, right? No. He's going to follow the way. Or bring Phil back in. <laughs> so, I uh, make a motion. Anyway, well, I, I just want to say. I second it. I think Tommy already did. But he's not going to Well, I, I wasn't going to talk about So, um, <laughs> if, I suspect if we were to hire a company like you know, Michelson who took down Stella's. Bill would probably be in excess of $100,000 to take it down. You wanted $100,000 last time we thought about it. Yeah. So, basically, we're going to have to do this. Yeah. So, basically, this is a one time good deal. And we should jump on it. So, you've already made a motion, you've already seconded it. So, how does everybody feel? I'm going to be clear. Okay. All right. So, I'll call Al tonight and tell him he's got both buildings to take out. He's going to start this week, good. by the way. He said, uh, Tony, what? he indicated that uh, when he starts taking it out, it'll be about two weeks of working on the inside before he needs to do anything about the yeah. gas or yep, there's, two gas, or that. there's two gas services we got to eliminate. Yeah. And then the future plans for the shop building down there that's going to be left is uh, we don't need that big uh, electrical service for that small building. So, Alliant. Uh, Kevin Kearns is, is contacting Alliant to um, put a smaller, like a residential service on that building because we're only going to need just basic for water heater um, and, uh, and lights and, and that type of thing. So uh, don't know when that'll happen. And all that stuff will go, go away. Um, eventually, we will try to put a bathroom in there or at least a lab, toilet, sink. And deep sink, and I've contacted Silers, and I told them when they can get to it, come over and get a hold of Tony, and figure out what it's going to take to put that in there. That's, that's all future, and then we probably will upgrade the lighting in there too. But that's all future stuff. Um, so that ends that. Uh, the light for the water tower, I already spoke about that. Is it on yet? No, I. Yeah, red light. Yeah, it's on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, it's oh, wrong light. I'm sorry. <laughs> there had been a thought put forward and some effort to put forward <clears throat> by on several people's behalf, Dan, Kevin Burns, to put a light on the south side that will shine up on the water tower to illuminate the city's logo. And I think that's a pretty good idea. Um, we're still working on some of the details, but Basically, I'd like council permission to go forward with that effort. So, any questions on that? <coughs> Planning to do? I think it, I think it'll be a good thing. <clears throat> What's it cost to run that? Then once it's hooked up, to have it on all the time. What's that cost? Yeah. Well, it would be uh, every uh, hard time. I'm yeah. yeah. Kind of like with the one at yeah. the parks are. Does that cost? It'll be an LED light. They're not know. very much. I, no. If I, if I, if I it's an LED light. Well, my question went to the golf course. That they're like, well, you got to pay that bill. Mm -hmm. and they, they, it. they got the Johnny, the co-op. Our group. We're trying to talk them into just putting that, looking like them back for shit. Well, maybe we got to plug in, and he didn't really think that would be a problem. Well, that's not probably talking about $20 a month for electric. Because you made it sound outrageous for the golf course a month. Well, no, I mean, the one, I don't know which one this one is. Yeah, well, but we'll they're all listed differently, the ones we have, out of all the ones we have. Um, or is that street bike service? That one was like $9.47 for the month. Uh -huh. They, they honestly don't. Those spotlights, or area lights, whatever they call them, they don't really cost that much. So we need to the light fixture itself will probably be several hundred dollars, I suppose. You know, light is just a light. They don't charge us for the light. Oh, really? Uh-uh. Oh, well, I got the wrong. Um, there they said it would be hooked up, right? Yeah. That's what I'm if it's like the square ones that we have shining on the <coughs> on the rock and the clay, yeah, it does not. 
<coughs> one of these was only a dollar forty six for the whole month. Yeah. Anyway, it would be a good deal. So, <coughs> nobody has any objections or questions. Let's go ahead and have a motion to uh, move forward with that project. A motion to move forward. Do I have a second? A second. All in favor? Aye. Next item is Ralph Golf Course Renew the Liquor License. Nothing more to be said there, basically. That motion to. Do you really think they need to be drinking with the golf? No, <laughs> they don't. Absolutely. That motion to renew the liquor license. All the license the golf course. All right, that was, that was motion. We have a second. All in favor? Aye. Next item is the tree pile. Well, as everybody knows, the tree pile was burned. And I got a call on Friday from DNR and raising some concerns about that. Uh, um, and they said there was a, uh, a uh, call in, anonymous call in. Um, anonymous. Anonymous. Yeah. And they, they were questioning it. I told them, I, I said, I will take the responsibility for that because I thought that everything was done, all the preparations, all the approvals were done, all the, the, um, the people that live in the local area, they need to, to sign a waiver. And we do have a folder full of waivers, um, but I did double check to make sure everything was, was uh, done before I gave the approval to go in there and light it on fire. And as I told the lady, that uh, it's pretty hard to put one out once you start it. So it is what it is, and I'll take the responsibility for it. She indicated to me that we need to, they're mulling over what uh, is going to happen uh, as a fallout for this. They, I don't have any details on that. They did suggest that we have a discussion to figure out what we're going to do in the future with the tree pile as far as managing it. Um, we can still burn, but there's contingencies there. You have to have updated waivers from anybody within 1,200 feet. You have to have a scheduled date. You have to have their approval before you light it on fire. The difficulty there is you set a date, the weather changes, and you gotta renew the whole thing. So I know that we now have, the way we operate it now is that we allow anybody in the city to bring trees, material in there, logs, um, branches, leaves, all that stuff. Um, we do have a grinder uh, or chipper that we got as part of a uh, grant. It'll take up to anything up to six inches, so we can grind some things. Um, the question is, we've looked into probably leasing some farmland or trying to outright buy it. Um, pretty much farmers don't want to sell any land, uh, especially to a a burn effort because they have no control over it. And if I was to make all the assurances today, if I'm not <coughs> two years, somebody else could break that and then we should have bad relations with the farmers. <coughs> um, we can still look at the possibility of leasing some property, at least for burning the big stuff that we can't handle. Um, we can look at grinding logs again and paying for that. We can look at closing it all together except for trees and grass clippings and then whatever the city takes down and leave the residents to find their own solution on their trees. Um, I hate to do that. So, but at the same time, when you've got people that uh, are just looking for a reason to find us, Get us turned in. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, right, Matt? Oh, yeah. If you take me a course, so why not do the same? Yeah. So, uh, 
Another thing I want to bring up is uh, dragging these trees down the, the streets. We can't be doing that. No, well, we got to consider the mentality of the of the individual but, that was doing it. But for further, you know, nobody should be able to drag trees down the street, whether it be a big branch or whatever. No. So anyway, we need to give give this tree pile some consideration. Um, you know, I hate to, hate to take things away from people after you you give it. To them, give them a privilege, but if they're going to abuse it, I don't know what to say. Um, well, that was huge uh, getting rid of that pile because that was, uh, it cost us $18,000 last time, and this was a lot bigger. So it, it would have been in the 20s. Yeah. The, the conditions were perfect for it, and there's no question it was the right thing to do, in my opinion. Um, we'll just wait to see what DNR has to say about it. So If we dispose of it or burn them when they're smaller and get our waivers and whatever. I mean, is that, does that help the problem? No. It, you don't need a Basically, waiver. You don't need a waiver if you go over Pokey did. Because this is actually going to be on the website. Pokey took there's a quarter mile out of town. You don't need a waiver or nothing. No, there's not. Within the 1,200 feet of somebody. I know, but Pokey took there's a quarter mile out of town. Yeah. And they don't have to worry I about had talked to their previous nothing. city administrator about that, and she said that is, we've got it over here. She said it's it's difficult because it's small. Once you burn up all that stuff, then you end up with all the ash, and then what do you do with all the ash? And she said it's it's you know, we've looked into several different options, and I I just don't know what the answer is. Um, Maybe continue on doing what we're doing and just make sure that the next time that when we go to do the fire that, that we dotted all the I's and crossed the T's. Um, or maybe we do a combination of things. We grind up the small stuff. We do have the um, lagoons out there. And we have an area out there where we could possibly burn the real big stuff. But the punky stuff that, that even the guy who grinds up for mulch, he won't even take that stuff. So maybe that's a solution to, to load it up, take it out there, and burn it. Um, you still run into the problem with 1,200 feet out there, though, because you've got you know, whoever it is lives on that gravel road that goes east and west. That's within 1,200 feet. So anyway, this is all food for thought. Give it your best. Considerations and we'll come up with a plan. Did you ever uh, talk to that? Uh, what was he? That I educated about that. Gravel I have been waiting for him to get back with me. I, based on the feel that I've got for it, they. The concern is not to help. The concern is we'd be more than happy to help the city under control access. We don't want to end up with people coming out here and busting down the gate and grabbing stuff or hauling stuff or whatever else because it's our property. And we've got, they've got cattle out there too. So we have to be considerate of all that. Yeah. So. Well, the people want to have the right to take the trees down there instead of having somebody trying to, I don't know the right words to be using, um, uh, issues. Maybe those people that want to keep that right should be talking to someone. Travis Schoen, you know, any of the trees that the homeowners have, he will haul them to his place mm -hmm. and burn them. But it's going to cost the homeowners. Yeah. So yeah, the homeowners will be paying big time. So if we have to close time. this down because of certain people, then we'll just It'll have to close it down. Big time. Well, here's the question. We closed that down last meeting. Why is the gates open? The gates were open when it burned, and we have we just haven't gone down there and locked them until it got pushed open by somebody who went down and dumped some stuff. And it's a, it's a mud pit down there right now, so we haven't been down there to check it out. I know Tony indicated as soon as it dries up a little bit, they go down there and try to manage cleaning it up a little bit, working that thing again. I closed it after that burn, and 
I figured somebody had opened it with a key. Uh, yeah, but those close next weekend. The only, the only people that have the keys are myself, yourself. Right. No, I, like I said, I, I closed it after that burn, so I don't, I don't know how it got open, to be honest. Anyway. So, give it some thought. I've got to get back with DNR and tell them that we did discuss it, and we're going to have to really come up with some solutions here on this um, so it makes them happy. All right, uh, next item is a resolution for a cost of living wage for Perry. Um, when we did the cost of living increases uh, earlier, he had been here less than 90 days, so because of the way things are structured, uh, he wasn't included in that. So uh, basically, he's been here 90 days, he's got a CDL now. He's working on his other qualifications, so uh, what I would ask is that a motion to go ahead and, and uh, increase uh, cost of living wage for Perry. I make a motion to give him the cost of living. Okay, do I have a second on that? Yep. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Now, I got a question for uh, Perry. If you, how are you coming on your other? Oh, um, my. Uh, Gas and water. My gas should be within the next three weeks, two, three weeks. You should have it in the next three weeks? For the on-call gas. For the on-call stuff. Okay, so when, when does this move him into the other dollar? When he, when he, he gets when goes to the gas camp. Yeah. Right? Or no, when he gets the when he gets, when he gets, he gets his license. When he gets qualified. Yeah, and when are you going to be qualified? It, it just all depends. I mean, it could be in the next two, three weeks. It could be uh, in the next couple months. It just that's what's holding it up. Getting qualified. Uh, they have to come. And they're not going to disqualify anybody. He's got a little kind of experience, yep. experience here. And, yep. Yeah. And you got to be on the bond schedule. Yep. Okay, now we'll go back to all in favor? Yeah. Well, it's a roll call. Right. Oh, it's a resolution. Yeah, roll call. Okay. Sonny? Yeah. Dan, right. Right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's affirmative. Right. Next item is resolution for living roadways. This I understand is basically we do a resolution and we submit that to this group and then we get reimbursed for the cost of the uh, or most of the cost of the chipper that we got. And Resolution, we're just passing a resolution to remove the grant funding from grant reimbursement from the living roadways. So, I have a motion to accept that. Second? Second. Roll call vote. Lana? Yes. Aye. Yes. Dan? Aye. Cal? Yes. Bob? Aye. Approved. And the last item is nuisance abatements. I've already talked on that. so. Yeah. Is there anything else we got to cover? All right. Well, well, let's have a motion to let's have a motion to adjourn then. I move to adjourn. Do I have a second? Thanks. Where's the wood chipper at? <coughs> What's that? Where's the wood chipper at? Where'd you put it? It's in the shop. In the shop, okay. Yeah. It'll handle it. It'll handle up to six inch. <coughs> What brand name is it? Uh, it I, I was told it was six inches. But it might be eight inches. I thought it was seven. I got the amount. I was going to say seven. Anyway, it, was eight. it should be a little bit helpful. What kind of is it? Is it a mirror? Band, bandit. Bandit. Yeah, so I thought bandit. Well, I did indicate to the DNR too that uh, it's a mirror. <laughs> Yeah, we do offer. Yeah, we can afford that. We do offer like some of that wood for people to take the fire on the service. They like that. Well, anyway. <laughs> That's how much we can get the ground for. So, and we spend 20. <laughs> all in favor of adjourning. Who was the second? Dan made the motion. Who seconded it? Oh, Rob didn't. They don't have anything. Yeah. Okay, so we're adjourning.